Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can code the insertion sort algorithm using Python. But before we do that it'd be a good idea if I let you know how the algorithm works. Well it's a really simple algorithm this one and all, how it works is you start at the left hand side of the list here so we start at number seven and then we make our way left to right all the way through each of the items and for each of the items all we do is we take it out of the list and we move it to the left in its first available position where it's smaller or equal to whatever number it is on the left. So for instance here if we were to uh, start on the number 4 we'd take the number 4 out and we'd move the 7 there and we'd put the 4 here. And we just keep doing that and keep going through each of the items in the list until we get to the last item and once all the items have been moved to their first available position the whole list will be sorted. So let me show you how that works and we'll go through an example. Um, now we don't have to start at number zero, normally we'd start at item zero but we don't have to because looking to the left of seven there's nothing there so we can't sort seven anyway so we just leave that for the moment it will get sorted later. So we really start on number one. So here we go, so the first, uh, so index number one is four so what we do is we make a copy of that number four into a temporary variable called current item and what we do is we compare that current item to the item to the left which is seven. If seven is bigger than the number four then what we do is we copy seven and move it one to the right. There we go, we make a copy of it to the right hand side. And there we go, so now we've got seven and we've got seven and seven and then what we do is we simply move one to the left and here at the moment well, well there's nothing to the left of uh, this position here now we're on position zero so we have to put the number four back in at position zero so uh, you, let's just keep going let's do another example so we've finished on item number one and then we move on to item two so zero one two number five same thing again we copy the number five paste it into a, uh, create a, you know, put it in a temporary variable called current item and then we look to the left of it. Is 7 bigger than 5? Yes. So we take the 7 and we make a copy of that into uh, wherever the number 5 was and then we move to the left. Is 4 bigger than 5? No. So then we take the 5 and we paste it into position there. And we'd keep going, du, 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 du. these are all sorted, so there's no point doing those here. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now we'd go all the way up to item 5, which is the number 2. Good. So same thing, current item, paste a copy of it. And then we start looking to the left again. Is 9 bigger than 2? Yes. So we paste uh, the 9 in there, move along the bus. Is 8 bigger than 2? Yes. So we make a copy of 8 and move it along. There we go. Is 7 bigger than 2? Yep. So we make a copy, move it along. Is 5 bigger than 2? Yes, it is. So we make a copy and move it along. Is 4 bigger than 2? Yes, it is. So we make a copy and move it along. Oops, what have I done there? I've just bolded it. There we go. And then, well, there's nothing to compare to the left there. So we just take the item and move it back in. There we go. Let's just do, let's do one more. Number one, here we go. So number one, same thing, current item. Oh, that's going to go to number six, isn't it? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. There we go. So last example, in fact, we'll go through them. I'll go for all of them. Number one. So it's nine bigger than one, yes. So we paste nine in, move, make a copy of nine to there. Eight's bigger than one, paste that in there. Seven's bigger than one, they're all bigger than one. There we go. And you can see how, quite interestingly here, what happens is you have this outer loop that's going this way over to the right, going through each item in the array. But then on the inner loop, each time you start and you start wherever the index is, like at number six, and you move this way left. So the outer loop is going right, but the inner loop is going left. 
There you go. So, and you move all the way along. Let's just do that. So, uh, seven goes to there. Yep, five's bigger than seven. Four's bigger than. Uh, so, five's, bi five's bigger than one. Four's bigger than one. Two's bigger than one. And there's nothing to the left. So, we put one in its right place. Paste. And then again, here we go. We're now on uh, item seven. There we go. Make a copy of the three. And then we just move it all the way along. I'm not going to finish off there, but you can see how once the three and the six are moved along, the whole thing will be in order. Let me give you an example of, um, let me show you how that works. I've done a little animation here. There we go. And you can see here, uh, we've got the outer index here, and it's going to the right hand side, and it keeps moving right. And yet the inner index here will go to the left, it will drop down. There you go, it goes down to one. And now this, uh, the inner index will start at 3 next time, and then it will go to 1. So you've got the outer uh, loop moving right, the inner loop moving left. And each time it just compares it, swaps it, and it goes all the way through. And once it's gone all the way through to the end, then it's done. Okie dokie, we'll leave that running, and let's get code. So I've created myself a file called insertion.py for the insertion sort. So create yourself a Python file. And the first thing we'll do is let's just create ourselves a list. And we'll create ourselves a little list here of some unsorted values. So nine, in fact, let's add some bigger numbers here. Let's go seven, 11, three. There we go. That should be enough to, uh, to get that running and check that it's working. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create ourselves a function. So define insertion sort, and we'll give it the list as an input parameter. There we go. And what we need to do is we're going to create ourselves the outer loop first of all. So the outer loop, if you look back to our example, we start from the left and we go all the way through to the right. We're going all the way along so we can just use a for loop, but we don't actually have to start at item zero because here item zero, which is right at the left, that's not going to move left anyway. We're never gonna move that number. It's always gonna stay there. So we can ignore that one. We can start just at item number one instead of zero. Uh, so what we can do is just do a for loop for outer index in range uh, one comma length of the oh there we are so that will give us a um a for loop that will loop through each of the indexes which is like index zero one two three four but it will start at index one so we can use that outer index to keep track of where we're up to good now i'm calling it the outer index because the outer uh, the outer loop here goes right Whereas the inner loop, and therefore the inner index that tracks it, is going to go left. And the way it works is that the inner index starts at the value that the, is the current outer loop index. So what we do here is we say, okay, the first thing we do is we need to take the value that's at the current index, and we'll save that, and we'll save it in a temporary variable current item. So we go to the list get whatever is at the current outer index. There we are. So for instance, if the current outer index is uh, two, then we come along here, zero, one, two, we'd get the value three and store that in the current item. So that's the first thing we need to do. And then also is we need to start our inner loop with the inner index, the inner index and inner index. And we set the inner index at the start on our inner loop to whatever the outer loop index is. So this one will start at the right. Now, our inner index is going to keep moving left uh, whilst um, two conditions are true. Number one, we'll keep moving left as long as we've not reached the left hand side. So while the uh, inner index, oops inner index is greater than zero so whilst we haven't reached the left hand side and 
whilst the um, whatever number we're checking against is still bigger than the current item. So let me just show you that. Let's just randomize a few of these. Uh, let's go to... There we go. So let's imagine we're moving the number three. Here we go. Uh, we, what we need to do is each time round, let's say we're at index here, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Start at number 6. And we say, OK, um, as long as whatever it is at index, uh, we're at 6. So we 6 minus 1, which is 5. As long as that is bigger than 3, we move along, we move along the bus. And what we do to move it, um, let's put uh, 11 and 44 or something out of the way. So what we do here is we say, okay, uh, this one is bigger than that. So what we do is we make a copy of that, uh, which is that one's mine, no, whatever, in, inner index minus one. And we make a copy there. And then we just move along to the left again. Okay, is 11 bigger than three? Yes. So we move three to the right and we keep going along. So those are the two reasons why we move them along. So whilst the list uh, inner index minus one, uh, whatever's to the left is still greater than the current item. <laughs> there we go. So as long as those two conditions are true, we keep moving left. First of all, we copy the item from what's minus one into the um the just to the right of it because we need to take this value and move it to here and that's easy what we do here is we say okay uh, we say okay uh go to the list uh, go to the the list the inner index minus one whatever's there take that and set that into the inner index uh, which will do the the copying of that to there once that's done, that's the only thing we really need to do. We just need to move along. Uh, and we, the way we move along is we set the inner index to whatever it is, minus 1. So it just decrements it by 1, minus equals 1. So if we were at position 6, the next time round, we'll go to position 5, and then 4, and then 3. So what happens once we no longer meet these two conditions? Um, so we've moved along as far as we can. What do we do? Well, the very last thing we always do is uh, that would go to there. That would go. Oh, that one move. So we've got as far as we can with the three. All we do is we take the current item and we put it back in the list in that position. And that's really, really easy. All we do is we say, okay, the L inner index, wherever we've reached, wherever we've got up to, set that item at that position to be that temporary current item that we we kept track of right at the start and that is the insertion sort algorithm that's it it's as complicated as it gets so what we'll need to do is we'll just run the uh, run the function insertion sort and we'll just print the list at the end to make sure that we've coded it correctly let's see if i've coded it correctly here we go uh, open container folder in Python and Python space insertion dot py. And there you go. Worked first time. Good. So as you can see, it sorted all the items into the correct order, which is perfect. If you want to, um, if you want to have a go and see what it looks like as it's running through the list, uh, then what you can do is um after you've set the current item there just print it there and it will show you the whole thing as it's running through in order so let's just save that let me show you that what that looks like and if we run that now there you go you can see it as it moves things in order so it starts with there we go let's have a look um <laughs> starts with number seven and yep it's moved it one to the right Seven, seven. You can see the seven moving along, and now he's got in the right place. So he's stuck there, and then the eleven moves along, and you can see the whole algorithm as it's taking shape. Brilliant, good stuff. Okie dokie. What I will do is I will uh, take the code, this code here. I'll um, pop that on the internet and put a link in the YouTube video, uh, so you can use that for reference as you're going through. I'll also um, post a link to the code for the animation, so you can see the animation uh, if you want to use that for reference. 
And if you're uh, teaching it to other people, I'll also put a link to this um, Google Sheets. You can make a copy of that and then you can work through it because that's a really good visual example that helps people understand what's going on. Uh, if you do like the video, then please do like uh, and subscribe. And if you've got any questions or comments or suggestions for other videos, then just uh, pop them on the YouTube comments section. Okay, thank you very much.